Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a how-to with making coffee using a Spanish style kettle. I really hope you enjoy this video and keep on watching. Alrighty, to start out with, you're just gonna need your kettle and you're going to need to fill it up with water and you can fill it up right to where that little bolt thingy is. Put that little filter thing back on and use your coffee. Today I am using my Dunkin' Donuts Dunkin' Dark, which is actually a really good coffee and it's very affordable. And it is a dark roast, just to let you know. And I use a just a regular spoon, fill it up, and as you're filling it, you can push it down as much as you can, just so that when the water goes through it, it doesn't just move the little grounds around. It goes just straight through it because it's packed tightly and nice. See how pretty that looks? All nicely packed and awesome. Then you're gonna go ahead and grab the top of it and when you screw the top on, just try really hard to make it as tight as possible because if you leave it slightly loose, then all the coffee is just gonna bubble out from the middle. And nobody wants coffee all over the place. I just did that a few days ago on accident because I forgot about my coffee, but regardless, the temperature is slightly medium high, so I put it at six and a half ish on my stove, but yeah, don't make it too hot. For me, I do like a steamed latte type of coffee, so I go ahead and steam up some lactate because I do have an issue with real milk, but you can use whatever type of dairy that works for you that you really like. Now all there's left to do is assemble your coffee. From this coffee kettle, I'm going to pour in like three-fourths of the way up. This is a big cup, so it doesn't look that much. But I use my whisk that does not scratch my non-stick pot that has my lactate in it. And I like to whisk it up really good to make the foam for it. Now, of course, you can skip this step if you don't mind not having foam or if that's not a thing for you. But yeah, me and my mom always whisk up or beat with one of those things for milkshakes to make it look awesome and to make the foam get on top instead of like getting lost in there you push it in at the end and there's your cup of coffee i always put three leveled teaspoons i think not really sure of sugar in there because that's just how i drink my coffee look at that foam oh yeah and there's my cup of coffee Thank you so much for watching my first installment of How To. And this is a series that I'm going to continue with the different ways that I make coffee and also experimenting with other people's ways of making coffee. Maybe more traditional ways or just ways that I haven't heard of. If you know any, then feel free to leave them down below and I will absolutely try them and make a video out of it. So here is my cup of coffee. And I hope you like these videos and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye. That's legit.